Hey guys, this is Devashis and you are watching C programming tutorial. In this video, we discuss about a very important topic that is string. String is also very much important for interview also because many times question directly asks from string that is write a string, reverse a string, etc. So in this video, we cover the introductory part of string, how to write string, how to get value and store inside string and write a simple program using string ok so let's start string in this tutorial you will learn about string and c programming you will learn to declare them initialize them and use them for various input output operation with the help of example so in c programming a string is a sequence of characters terminated with a null character that is slash zero so you have to remember always that a string terminated with a null character that is slash zero the another definition of string that is string is a character of arrays with one dimension so it is basically another form of array that is only one dimensional and we storing the value in the same procedure followed by the array okay here is one example of string the syntax of string is character or data type then name of this character that is here c and its size within third bracket after that assign the value of the string here the string name is devasis always remember that a string or any character starting or ending inside quotation okay so here you see that devasis is inside quotation the example is character c equals to devasis this is one string type so here the type of the string is character type and name of the string is c okay next when a compiler encounters a sequence of characters enclosed in double quotation marks it's append a null character so whenever the compiler encounters that any character sequence ending with a quotation it's automatically or default the last value or the termination value is null character that is slash zero here you can see that in the previous example that is character c equals to devashish here you can see the structure this all inside one dimensional array so the value of d is c0 then c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 and c8 so there are total nine character last character is null character so i hope you understand what is the structure of string how to declare a string okay so we have to know how to declare a string we previously discussed that first of all we have to write the data type that is always a character because string is a character of arrays so always a string is a character so character the name of this string that is s here the name of the string is s and then the size of this string that is 5 okay so inside this string we store maximum 5 elements or 5 characters value here how we declare this string so we declare the name of the string is s and the size of the string is 5 the starting value of the string is s0 and the ending value is s4 okay inside this array one dimensional array we store the string values this is the structure of string or how to declare the string next how to initialize string after declaration we have to initialize the value the character value of string we can initialize the string in number of ways so the first way character c here we did not declare the size of this string that is empty space here and then assign the value inside quotation that is a b c d we terminate one semicolon in another way we can declare that is character c 50 we can also initialize the size of the string here is the size of the string is 50 and we assign the value that is inside quotation a b c d in another way we can also declare string that is character c inside second bracket or parenthesis a comma b comma c comma d and null value okay 
so every time when you not use the quotation you have to put the null character just because of termination point okay in this way you can also declare but in this time we initialize the size of the string that is 5 and we put 5 characters include this null character okay in this four way we can initialize and declare the value of string so we learn what is string how to declare string and how to initialize the value of string next assignment value to string arrays and string are second class citizen in c okay so array and string are treated in c as second class citizen they do not support the assignment operator once it is declared okay so you have to remember that whenever you declare the string at the same time you can assign the value of the string otherwise you cannot assign the value after initialization okay just because it cannot support the assignment operator here you can see that first i declare the string that is character c100 and after declaration i try to initialize the value of the string that is c equals to inside quotation c programming one notable thing that is use the str cpy that is string copy function to copy the string instead you can use this function that is string copy function to copy the string next so after declaration we have to know how to read the string from user so you can use the scanf function to read a string similarly in c programming we taking the value from user by using the scanf function here you can also use the scanf function to get the value from this user next the scanf function reads the sequence of character until it encounter white space it can read the sequence until it get a white space or space new line tab etc so it's another way to getting value or reading the value of string that using scanf function it's read the sequence of this character until encounter white space so i hope you understand how to read string from this user just simply use the scanf function next now we practice one simple example example using string first of all we have to include the header file that is include stdio.h then initialize the main function after that declare the string that is character name 20 then enter that is printf enter the name we write one message to the user that they easily recognize the system wants the name it asked me that enter the name then by using the scanf function we taking the value from the user but here one thing is changed that is after declaration of scanf function inside this bracket we have to write person s modular division s is indicate that is we storing the value that is string type the variable name that is name is a string type so we declare inside scanf that is modular division of s then by using this scanf function we are taking the value from user and storing the value inside name variable after that taking the value uh, if we want to display this value just simply write printf function write your name is model division of s here inside this place it taking the value where we store the value inside name and display the value or the character that is your name is and comma name so it get the value of name and then the last written zero i hope you understand now practice this code inside devc here you can see that i write this code inside devc now compile this code there is no error and warning now run this code so it asked me that enter name so i write my name that is devashish now i press enter so here you see that give me the result that is your name is devashish so whenever i put any character value or sequence of character that is a string or string is basically the character array that is one dimensional 
please practice this code yourself and try different code by using this same procedure i hope you practice all this previous code if you don't watch my previous video i give the link in description thanks for watching my video if you have any doubt please comment below i definitely try to solve your problems keep practicing tech related video programming unboxing job updates job exam preparation and for review please do subscribe my channel please do subscribe and stay updated and also hit the bell icon to get notification and future updates once again thanks for watching stay fit stay updated thank you